Guys, let's be honest. This bike is too fast. No electric bike should go 60 miles an hour stock. 12 kilowatts, 72 volt. Trust me, you do not need to upgrade this thing. However, <laughs> Today, we are gonna put this X9000 on the E-Ride Pro SS. Apparently, this battery can handle a lot more power. If this were a Suron, you'd tap out at like six kilowatts. This, 15 kilowatts. I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. So when you get an X9000 for an E-Ride Pro, it's gonna come with all of this stuff, specifically to make it work with this bike. Now my kit might look a tiny bit different because I begged RevRides to let me buy this a little bit early so that I can make this video. The most significant difference, the E-Ride Pro kit apparently comes with a new bash guard and some side plates just to kind of clean everything up. I'll get those on my bike soon, but otherwise this should all be the same. First, your controller, the brains of the operation. This thing is heavy, by the way. They have all of these kind of aviation style plugs and then your positive and negative and your phase wires. We'll talk about that in a second. You'll also find a battery harness. This adapter to go from the X9000 to the E-Ride. This, which I believe, I don't know what this is. Also a thumb throttle, ooh, that feels nice. This is for regen braking, which is a cool thing we can add. And this is, you know, Dang, I'm realizing I should have prepared better for this. One of the parts I'm weirdly most excited for, the EBMX display. This is where we can bump up our power, down our power, change modes. A couple of people have pointed out that I took the display off the E-Ride. The display is great, but it's also like a flat screen TV. And I was worried that I was gonna break it, so I'm excited to have a much smaller screen. Before I start messing around with any electronics, I'm going to unplug the battery, Ugh. take that puppy out, and then I'm gonna do something kind of weird, which is turn on the bike, and max out the throttle. Obviously nothing's gonna happen. Just controllers can store quite a bit of electricity. Unplugging the battery gets it away from the system and then maxing out the throttle means that any electricity stuck in there would uh, flow out. I, listen, I don't know what I'm talking about. We should be able to do this entire install with basic hand tools at home. Blue Loctite on the bolts, by the way. Some companies don't do that. One more tiny little Allen up here. I'm pretty sure this is a three millimeter for reference. Now is a good time to remove your bash plate. This would be a lot easier if I had a kickstand, which I don't, because I took it off. I do not remember why. By the way, if you're forgetful like me, as you're disassembling the bike, just thread each bolt a couple turns into the part that it came from. Easy, you don't have to, you don't have to remember anything. Now we're gonna start undoing all of the scary wires. <laughs> Three phase wires, which are color-coded. This piece of plastic, I guess. And then a negative and a positive up here. Also a more uh, complex plug right here. That's what talks to kind of the rest of your bike. So you gotta be careful not to break any of these wires. There are a couple wires that run to the negative and to the positive. I'm gonna take off the negative last. I don't know much about grounds, but I don't wanna become the ground. Woo, there it is. This is what an E-Ride Pro controller looks like, if you were curious. Let's get to the cool one. When I installed my Back 4000 on my Suron, I basically just wired it up to, you know, all of that stuff. With the X9000, you're replacing a lot more wires, so we gotta get into the head tube of the bike right here. Oh, is that metal? I keep finding things on the E-Ride Pro. I'm not, this is, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to shell E-Ride Pro here, but this piece on a Suron is plastic and it breaks. On the E-Ride, it's metal. Anyway, kind of cool. Now that we got the guts opened up, we're gonna replace the entire battery lead with this one from EBMX. It's supposed to be able to handle more power, so cool. But I think they're doing something kind of cool. Each side of this is gonna bridge the breaker. So you get to maintain your breaker, that's awesome. But you also have this little mystery thing, which I think is a pre-charge resistor. That means when you flip the breaker, it's gonna help protect that controller from a ton of power rushing in and potentially damaging it. That's kind of why Surons keep blowing up. One of the reasons. It's just really cool to see them build that into the harness. I have a question really quick. What is this thing? That's your Bluetooth adapter. Oh, okay. Logan, did you watch my Saron install video? I'll go do that right now. Hey, do you want to say hi to the camera? I just realized I'm filming. What's going on, gang? <laughs> What's going on, gang? Low gang here. <laughs> 
Everything is connected and I learned a lot. First, I connected ground, then the three phase wires, then positive. This thing, uh, don't worry about that. This little aviation style connector goes up to the E-Ride plug. That's the only plug, which is really nice. These harnesses turns out are for Suron and for Telaria. Last but not least, we plugged in this mystery device. That's for Bluetooth. We're gonna tuck this away so that you can use the mobile app. I think that is everything. I'm pretty sure we just need to like shove everything back together, but I assume that's the easiest part. Before I really put the bike all back together, you gotta make sure it works. Everything's plugged in. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Error 18, uh-oh. I think I figured it out. My thumb regen wasn't plugged in. Oops, my bad. <laughs> now if I turn it on, no error. If we hit the little up arrow, race one. Let's try three. Whoa! Okay, I'm getting, hold on. I'm getting too excited. Good morning. I have run into an issue. Everything's hooked up, everything's turned on, everything is actually working great. Nice. Except when I go on really low throttle. You see how chunky that is? I downloaded the EBMX app. You can see, there's my bike. The motor is 200 degrees. Okay, controller calibration. I think this might be the issue. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do it. Twist throttle calibration setup. Whoa, <laughs> I have reverse? Now I do it for the thumb throttle. Oh, didn't fix it. This feels a lot like when my motor wasn't calibrated on my Suron. Basically the motor doesn't really know where it is and it makes the wheel do weird stuff. I'm gonna try something a little bit risky. Encoder calibration. This is gonna turn the motor slowly. Please lift the back wheel. All right. Successfully calibrated. Okay. Yes! First ride on the X9000, I'm so excited. In the next video, I'm gonna do a full like actual test, but I couldn't wait. Apparently there is street mode and race mode and you change that by holding the down arrow. I'm not gonna bother with street mode. Within each mode, you have one, two, and three. So I'm in race one right now. I haven't hit the throttle, but it feels kind of like the stock E-Ride in sport mode, but definitely smoother. I got so worried when it wasn't smooth, <laughs> but doing a motor tune fixed it. And this thing feels buttery. This is just mode one. I haven't even looked at the settings. They're just stock E-Ride settings. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Let's try it on dirt. That's kind of fun. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, that's mode one. It's, it's lifting the front wheel. I assume one is slower than three, which concerns me. Again, this is not the full test, okay? This is just first impressions riding around. Ah, dude, that is way faster. I'm gonna check the kilowatts in a second, but... Ah. Maybe I shouldn't say faster, because apparently the top speed doesn't actually increase that much, which I know sounds disappointing. I'm gonna test the top speed in uh, the full test, but just like butt dyno, the torque. Oh my God. This feels like going from like the stock brakes to the Velar Sports, <laughs> just like, you know, a little bit violent. Now I know we're only in mode one. I'm gonna do two and three, but it wouldn't be a true test without ripping a couple wheelies. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. My wrist is not calibrated for this yet. Easy does it. Whoa. It's touchy. I'm gonna have to do some tuning, but whoa, it's torquey. Ooh. Regen's working. You can just tell how much more torque there is. This makes me nervous about modes two, <laughs> two and three. Whoa, it comes up so fast. I'm gonna be careful with this thing, dude. Whoa! Ah. Before I do any throttle tuning, let's do it, man. Mode two. Okay. Unfortunately, 
That was not full throttle. Oh. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not exaggerating that. Jeez, man. Oh my God. This is nuts you can do this on a stock battery. They recommend like 15 kilowatts peak. Let's check if I'm even at 15 kilowatts. Hold on. Thank you. Race mode, power level, that's 12 kilowatts. Mode one was 10, which by the way, feels faster than the stock 12 kilowatts that comes on the bike. Mode two is 12, which is supposedly the power of a stock E-Ride. This is way more torque, way more phase amps, it's nuts. And then mode three is 15, so that's gonna be full beans. I've heard that eBMX ran this battery up to like 20 kilowatts and somehow never tripped the BMS, which is like, kind of nuts to get a 72 volt battery that you can run 15 kilowatts safely on that's a lot of money no matter which way you slice and dice it oh i gotta be careful with this if you accelerate while you turn your front wheel starts to pick up this is like at 12 kilowatts this is so much more than you could ever possibly need let's go to 15 kilowatts <clears throat> Whoa, gotta find a more open space. Oh. I'm gonna make a couple changes. Mode one, I'm gonna make beginner mode. 5.6 uh, kilowatts. That's for when a first time rider gets on this bike. Mode two, that's gonna be what I ride in. And I'm gonna go 10 kilowatts. I think 10 kilowatts is kind of perfect for wheelies. You also get a little bit more range. I don't need to be going nutso all over the place. And if I wanna go nutso all over the place, I always have mode three. Phase amps for mode one, 250. Phase amps are kind of like your torque. For mode two, I'm gonna go down to, mm, what do you say, 450. And mode three, 600, baby. Max it out. Reverse strength, 50? Why would I want five kilowatts going backwards? Whatever, save it. Here's the beginner mode. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's great. It's fun, but you're not gonna loop the bike immediately. So this way I can hand my friend this bike and he won't immediately loop it. Oh, that's awesome. It feels like a really twerky Suron. Let's see mode two. This is our wheelie slash daily driver mode. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, still a little touchy. Off throttle region, like strength, 10 ramping time, 50 milliseconds, put dead cool. band, polynomial. I got the throttle set to natural and negative one. So that means at the very start of your throttle, it's really mellow and pretty controllable. And then the deeper you get into the throttle, the more power it gives you. I love that for wheelies. It basically gives you all the power you need to get the front wheel up, but then you can make smaller, smoother adjustments while you're up in the wheelie. It's pretty perfect. Plus, once you're up in the wheelie, let's say you do a combo and get like a little bit low or something like that, you can always just dig into the throttle a little more and bring it back. Sick, dude. And then, if you need to get away from a car, you just... Dang. Oh, what an upgrade, man. The e right's so good now. Oh. Very narrowly avoided a bad situation right there. <laughs> break my rule and go into the bike lane. Don't do this, don't do this. Wow, it's, okay. I gotta get used to this curve, but it is so nice. Long story short, this thing is crazy. Rev Rides is gonna have them in stock very, very soon. And you can use our secret code, DEALZONE. That's only for the low gang. You don't get to use that unless you're subscribed. If you have an E-Ride Pro and you want more power, or maybe you're like me and you just want more like tunability, this thing is nuts. Props to EBMX for being the first people to like bring this to market and do it right for the E-Ride. You already know we're doing the full test in the next video. I'll see you next time. Peace.